Hi guys, Steve, the Stay at Home PT. Um, today I'm going to show you a really simple recipe using lean turkey mints, um, and it is going to be these turkey meatballs. Um, really high in protein, um, very simple to do, and uh, yeah, let's have a look at the recipe. Okay, so let's have a look at the ingredients. First of all, we've got some lean turkey mints, um, obviously high in protein, low in fat, low in carb. Some breadcrumbs, 35 grams of breadcrumbs there, um, and that's going to help bind all of the meatballs together along with the egg. So just one egg. And I have some capers here, which um, I'll chop up in a minute, and uh, that's going to add a bit of zest, a bit of zing, and we'll use um, a lemon, some lemon zest, not a lot, and um, the rest of the lemon um, will use um, the juice of that to go over the top of them once they're done. So let's crack on, I'll just show you how easy it is. All right, so we have the, the, the turkey mince there. It's just a case of putting in the breadcrumbs, cracking an egg in, not the hardest thing in the world. Try not to get any shell in there. And uh, stick that down. And uh, I'll chop some of the capers before I get my hand dirty. And it's just a case going through the capers like this. Obviously you don't want massive big capers in there, so we'll just uh, try and get it into little small pieces if we can. Okay. And we'll stick them in as well. I mean, this literally takes no time at all. And it tastes lovely. So don't forget to put your lemon zest in, because I always forget and then have to it back in. And what you want to do is just try not to go all the way through so when you're doing it don't go through all the way to the white because that's quite bitter so you want to just try and get the yellow the yellow part in there. Don't be afraid to get your hands in. I've washed my hands so in we go. And the breadcrumbs will make it a little bit firmer as well because you don't want it to be too sloppy. Yep. These are pretty sloppy actually, but we'll live. And it's basically just a case of molding them together like that. And that's one in there. And I think with this recipe, we'll probably get between eight and 10. We might even get some more, but we'll, we'll just see. Stick these on. Try and make them all the same size, because if obviously they're in different sizes, some are going to cook before others, so don't try and make them too different and get them close. I'm making mine quite big because obviously the bigger you make them as well, the less likely it is for them to dry out, so you don't want, uh, you don't want them to be dry because turkey in general can go a bit dry when you're, uh, when you're cooking it, so you want to keep a bit of moisture in there. Okay, now they're all on the tray, and get them in the oven and uh, yeah, we'll stick them in. We'll put these on for 15 minutes. I'll probably check them after 10 to make sure they're all right, but uh, 200 degrees and uh, yeah, we'll come back to them in a sec. Okay, right, it's time to get them out. So, let's have a look. Right, not as brown as I would like, so I'd probably leave them in for a few more minutes to just brown them off just a little bit more. But that's the finished product. Right, so there you go. Nice and easy to do, as you can see, not many ingredients. You can put more stuff in them. You can, you know, if you like, uh, if you like, you want to make them hot and spicy, put something like that in. Put some chili pot flakes in, or if you like um, more herbs, you can put more herbs in there. Obviously, it's up to you, it's personal preference. But I just wanted to keep it nice and simple for you. So there you go. Um, I will put the macros and the ingredients in the recipe um, up on the screen here. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you next time.